Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make sugar glass. Oh yeah, sugar glass essentially is a candy and it's really neat because it looks like glass, it behaves like glass, and uh, but you can eat it, pretty awesome. And uh, it's very easy to do, simple ingredients, very few ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. And down below in the description box, you'll find the list of the ingredients and the amounts. Also, first I want to show you my cool mug. I have these mugs for sale. It says, in the kitchen with Matt. Let's get baking on this side and on this side. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, down below, you'll find a little banner um, with an advertisement or whatever for uh, the mug. If you want to pick one up, that would be awesome. Help support the show. So what you need is you need a pot, some kind of a pot, or you could use a deep skillet as well. And we have one half cup of water. Add that in there. Two cups of white granulated sugar. Add that in there. A pinch of cream of tartar. Add that in there. The cream of tartar is not absolutely necessary, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can still make it. And then, one cup of corn syrup, or carol syrup. All right, let's head over to the stovetop. Also, you wanna prep a sheet pan. I'm using a silicone mat on the bottom, or you could use a um, kitchen spray and not use a silicone mat at all and just spray the pan. This is gonna help make it so the sugar glass comes out easy. All right, here we are over on the stove top. I have the heat set to medium low, and we are going to want to melt this sugar down and bring it to a boil. We wanna to get to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hard crack candy stage. All right, and then right around the two 20, 225 mark, it's going to start to bubble like this. And at that point, you can just stop stirring and let it sit there and keep cooking for and keep uh, boiling until it gets up to the 300 mark, 300 Fahrenheit or 150 Celsius. All right, we just got to the hard crack stage. As you can see, it did turn a little bit amber on me. Um, that's all right. We should still be able to color it. Now we're gonna take it off the heat and then put the food coloring in it. Onto our pan. You want your, your pan to be level so it makes a nice even level candy or glass. And just go ahead and let this sit and let it rest for an hour or two until it cools and then we can Break it up. All right, after it has cooled, um, if you went on a silicone mat, it's really easy just to come under her and pick it up. And look at this. This one is a, um, a pretty dark glass. And then what you do is you'll take your a mallet or something like that, if you want to crack it, and go like that. And you got these pieces of glass, sugar glass, totally edible, ready to be used. All right, I want to show you a couple of others uh, that I made. Here's like the blue glass um, from like Breaking Bad. And um, look at that. You can come in here and twist it a little bit to release it. You notice I didn't use a silicone mat this time. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. This one is really nice and see-through and it's very thin. And you can just go in there. Um, sometimes you'll get like a nice hot knife and run it on the edge if you need to. But a lot of times you can just use your finger now and just get it up. That is really cool, huh? 
and it's completely edible. Pretty awesome. So I want to set that one aside. And I want to show you this other one. This other one is nice and clear. I'm not trying to get it all in one piece. Um, like I said, if you want to try to get it all in one piece, go along the edge with a hot knife to try to get it out of there. But look at this one. Look how nice and clear that is. Got a slight tint. Slight amber tint to it, but that is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Also, I want to show you this other one that I made. And this one, I um, burned the sugar. <laughs> but, so even if you do overcook it, it still worked totally fine. This is like a deep, deep, brown color, almost like a, a beer bottle color. And this is awesome. Piece, thin piece here. I don't know how see-through you can see it. But. So don't be alarmed, even if you do burn it. It may not be as uh, colorful, but it will work. It just won't taste, taste that good. All right, the sugar glass is done. Turned out fantastic. A couple things I want to point out really quickly. When you're making it, the sugar gets really, really, really hot. So make sure you have adult supervision if you are a young child and you wanna make this. Also, make sure your candy thermometer, if you're using one, is um, accurate and new. My candy thermometer is pretty old and it doesn't seem to be uh, measuring the right temperature. That's how I got a, a, a lot darker glass on this one, is it got brown too quickly because I thought the heat was, uh, I was going by the the temperature gauge on my thermometer. Another way that you can tell is not use a th thermometer at all and just right when the mixture slightly starts to turn a little bit yellow, um, then it should be ready to go and you can pull, uh, take it off and put in your food coloring. And then if you have any flavored extracts that you wanna put in there, like this blue one, if there's like a blueberry extract or something like that, you could put it in there, peppermint extract, um, any kind of a flavor that you want. Uh, you can add that as well. All right, and these are sharp. It's pretty much like a glass that you can eat. So just be careful with it. And if you want to make some kind of a, you know, pane of glass that you wanna uh, use as a movie prop and like break over someone's head or something like that, or like punch through, just make sure it's a lot thinner. Um, you don't wanna have it too thick because then it will hurt when you do that. All right, uh, just a few things to take into consideration. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to eat a little piece. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like a Jolly Rancher. If you ever had a Jolly Rancher, like little small pieces that you eat, almost exactly like that. <laughs>